Hey, New Hope, this is Pastor Austin. It is Thursday, which means it is Throwback Thursday, and so I thought I'd start my devotional off with a couple throwback pictures of my sister and I as kids. Here is uh, one of us during a Christmas photo shoot or something like that. We've got middle school Taylor. We've got little girl Taylor. She's going to kill me for doing this. Who is this handsome little guy? Oh, man, he's so cute. Oh, look at those two big front teeth. I love it. Oh, here's here's a good favorite uh, show choir one. Some good stuff here. There's my mom and dad. Glam shot. But uh, just thought I would brighten your day with a little bit of uh, Throwback Thursday. It does concern me a little bit. I'm in my dad's office. And if someone didn't know that we were still living, you'd think that he set up a shrine in his office for his uh, two children. But... Um, this is his office. This is also his Christmas tree that's been up for six years. Um, so you can pray for him. He really loves Christmas. I just want to encourage you guys uh, today um, in this devotion. And I'm going to be talking about preferring one another in love. And I think that's a, a really difficult thing to do uh, for two reasons. One is because pain is acute, meaning it is something that comes in very intense, but it's here for a moment. And when that pain comes in for a moment, it can make us become nearsighted where the only thing that we can think about is the pain that we're experiencing in that time. And when we are focusing on ourselves and we're focusing on, on that pain, now all of a sudden, our peripherals become blinded and we no longer pay attention to our neighbor. We no longer pay attention to our spouse. We no longer pay attention to those that God has placed around us. And the only person that we can think about is ourselves. But Paul instructs us in Philippians chapter 2 to prefer one another in love. In Philippians 2, 3 through 4, it says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, rather in humility value others above yourselves. Now, this doesn't mean that you don't value yourself and you don't take care of yourself, but it simply means putting others' needs before your needs. And then he goes on and says, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. And then he continues to talk about in verses 5 through 11 of that text, how Christ gives us that perfect demonstration of preferring others in love, seeing their need and, and doing something about it, even maybe when he doesn't want to or feel it. And, and that was demonstrated to us as he went to the cross and he picked up our sin and he died in our place so that we could be in a right relationship with God our Father. And so as we are in this whole crisis time right now, I want to encourage all of us to be unified in mind and spirit. And let's start to look around to the needs of one another. Let's not be inward focused. Let's not forget that this pain, we're all experiencing this. I, th I was thinking and just praying this morning, driving into the church, man, there are people in third world countries that don't have access to, to even Tylenol. There are people in third world countries that are in far worse situations than what we're experiencing in this self-isolation. And as difficult as it is, um, we can can do something about this and we need to prefer one another in love. So let me just pray this over you, um, that you would find creative ways to prefer your spouse in love. I'm an introvert. Elizabeth has given me some time to be by myself so that I can recharge. She's an extrovert and uh, I'm trying to do the best to create community for her. And uh, how can you serve and prefer those around you in love? Maybe it's even as simple as uh, checking in on, on your neighbor or going and getting groceries for them and, and really putting others' needs before your own. So let me pray. Jesus, thank you so much for today. I thank you, God, that you have demonstrated this so, uh, so perfectly for us, God, that you put your desire and your will at uh, a place of submission under the Father's, and you died on the cross for our sins so that we could be in a relationship with you. So let us be the church. Let us rise up. Let us prefer one another in love, and I uh, just thank you for this wonderful day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. We'll see you next week.